All right. Well, the Mariners making news, announcing a new head coach today. We wish the best of luck to Riley Armstrong as he advances his career on to the AHL, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. But we're pleased to be joined for our first of many conversations with the new head coach of the Maine Mariners, Ben Gite. Ben, welcome. How are you? Thanks, Mike. I'm doing great. Uh, it's uh, it's really exciting. I'm really happy. Um, I, you know, obviously the way that things turned out and couldn't be more excited to join the Mariners. Many people here in Maine and surrounding area are already familiar with you from your storied history, both as a player and a coach with UMaine. But I'm going to ask you to give us the quick summary of the Ben Gite story uh, uh, so people can kind of get an idea of who you are. Sure, sure. Well, I'm from Montreal, Canada. Uh, I went to the University of Maine and played from 96 to 2000. I uh, played for the late great Sean Walsh. We, uh, we, uh, we were very fortunate to win a, a national championship in 1999. Uh, you know, I met my wife at Maine. She, uh, she's a Portland native. She went to Deering High. Um, and uh, we now, too, have Patrick and Max, both uh, two boys, eight and ten years old. We were heavily involved in baseball, hockey, soccer, and uh, you name it. Uh, played pro hockey for 13 years after Maine. And when I retired, I joined the Red Gender staff um, up, up, up in Orono. And uh, that's where I've been the last eight years as an assistant and, uh, also an, uh, an associate head coach. What should fans know about you as a person? Riley was a guy that was very active in the community and loved interacting with the fans. What can you tell us about you as a person? I mean, different, I was a different personality, but very similar values. Um, you know, I, I look back at, at our time spent in Maine as, as, as a coach, you know, like, like I said, uh, you know, I coach my boys in little league. I coach my boys in hockey. My wife, uh, my wife teaches school and uh, locally. So we're very involved. We're, we, we have a big blueprint in the community and, uh, you know, I, I'm a pretty approachable guy. I think uh, I think our fans would learn to, to, to get that. Uh, you know, if they see me around the rink, they see me in the streets, please feel free to come and say hi. And if you want to talk about the team, by all means, it would be uh, greatly appreciated. I know, you know, the state of Maine is a hockey state. People that love the, the, the game of hockey. And the, and the great thing about the state of Maine, it's, I think, that, you know, the people are down to earth, people are approachable. And I think they want to see the same thing from, from the players, from the coaches. Um, you know, we've been as a family we've been in Maine for 12 years. This is this is where we call home, and you know, and I share a lot of the same values. You know, it's about hard work and being good people. Well, this is your first chance to coach in the pros, and also as a head coach, what excites you most about this opportunity? Well, on a personal level, it's uh, you know taking that step from an assistant to an associate head coach to being a head coach, and you know, running your own locker room and, and your own bench. Uh, you know, obviously the affiliation with the Boston Bruins is, it's, uh, I mean, brings tons of excitement locally just because of what the Boston Bruins in, mean in the area. By the same time, being involved with that organization, you know, just being down here at development camp right now in Boston, you get to meet everybody and, and you could see why their culture of having just great teammates goes, you know, transcends far much for higher up than, than just a locker room. You know, it's uh, it's cross organization. Everybody is very welcoming. Um, so it's it's great to be part of something that uh, that's that, that's so healthy on that side of things. And on top of that, being able to join the family at Comcast and, you know, the Flyers and Dan Bier that's just been just treating me so well so far and see how they uh, they treated the Riley family, uh, the Armstrong family. It's uh, it's pretty unique to be able to join an organization like this that's got two really good organizations on top. And, uh, you know, from what I've met, like, uh, you know, the, the, the staff with the Mariners is really good too, really, really dynamic and excited to, um, and exciting to work with. Kind of answered this one already, but what makes Maine so special? I think you're a great guy to ask for the amount of time you've already spent here. Um, what do you like most about it? I, I just think it's just the way, you know, I, one of the biggest things I, I have enjoyed about Maine is being able to, to raise a family with the values of just, you know, like keep that, that center around the community of, of being able to kind of put your guards down with everything else that's going on in the world. And it's it's a place where the the, the pace of life is a little slower in a good way, uh, where you can really put uh, the, the onus on what really matters. And um, and as far as, you know, that's how we want to have our hockey team, guys that care for each other, that play for each other, uh, that fight for each other. And, uh, you know, I, I think our guys are going to be able to, you know, to represent the state of Maine that way. Well, there'll be plenty of time for you and I to get into the X's and O's as we move along. But in general, for the fans, what kind of team can they expect to see uh, on the ice in the fall? 
Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think, you know, they, they should expect something similar than what they see from our parent club, right? Uh, you know, they want to start, the, the Boston Bruins want to establish a culture that stems, that starts from the top, that goes through Providence and down to us. Uh, so it's going to be a real competitive atmosphere. We're going to have, you know, we have competitive kids that they'll do anything that there is that to win hockey games. We're, we're already pretty skilled and fast from what I've seen on video and what I know from our players. So that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. The guys are going to have a leash um, to create, uh, to score some goals, to make some plays. But at the same time, we're going to be incredibly defending. We're going to be very intense defensively. Uh, so it's going to be a fun team to watch offensively. We'll be physical. Uh, there'll be, a, you know, there's going to be, uh, everybody is going to come in and, and get their kicks coming to watch the Mariners. That's for sure. Well, Ben, we are excited to have you as part of the organization. Congratulations again on the opportunity. Thanks for your time here today. And uh, we look forward to talking to you a lot more very soon. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.